Catherine Connolly. Er mil bagat a chahirli agus ara ta arum farir gear ta arum an tospigil se clavon a ardu arish agus ta sagat kuil an tospigil chin fui vagar agus i muel le biogna gavlin anish agus an rod the curtain is jacharum na kuil che dunte fui lahar agus ni wurum or ein chakterukt biogna mor hulumare er na man conversaja kuro an tospigil dunte arish ospigil a ta harve ta bok ta ton kanter mar es all ditche agus ta an skel cha he galerai biogna gavlin anish niart krinia niart conversaja Ake ganamato an chomer sajik tastal agus marda durch me ni lein olis agumsa ako wangu will chedunta agus antolis shin erolis agum on a man chomer saja agus komatlis shin ta ta she jacker a hishkent kad eat na fauna go will chedunta as before er level of one then jerk her lin go will panel aku o hiv altrije ake ganam ella agus ta she shot tabuk tok ara go will she tik fanuk le kyad on realtis dini a arku so i'm back again i have to say from it's over it's we're into our second year now Different colleagues have raised it at different times. We thought we had made some progress in relation to Clifton District Hospital. There were meetings. There was one particularly fruitful meeting in Clifton where we sat down with the previous woman who has retired. It was extremely fruitful and positive. We thought we were going someplace. And as we headed out at that meeting, we got a pre-written pre press release that confirmed that we're closing it. That meeting sticks out in my mind. It's over a year ago now, as we went out the door. So the, the previous wonderful two hours meeting was all at naught, and then we had more meetings. So what am I saying? I'm raising Clifton Hospital that it's closed once again. I learned that from the media. That's most unhelpful. And I have no idea what's going on. Going back almost two years ago, we were told it, there was a union dispute. We were told that the staff didn't want to work between the two, the district hospital and St Anne's. We were told there was no demand. We were told all sorts of contradictory reasons. We were told they couldn't get any nurses. Then we had meetings and one of the local doctors confirmed that there was a demand for respite beds and for convalescent beds. Now, I'm going to just put that in perspective with Galway City and the hospital in Galway. And around this time last year, the HICWA visited the hospital and they said it was absolutely uh, grossly overcrowded with 28 patients on trolleys. I'm going to link it back to Clifton now. Grossly overcrowded with 28 patients on trolleys. It was the third busiest hospital and the third worst for, for no reflection on the staff, on waiting lists, people on trolleys, the worst numbers. That was a year ago. And with 20, what I said, that figure, 28 on trolleys, they thought it was grossly overcrowded. Do you know what the figures have been for the last while in Galway? A year later, when they called it grossly overcrowded at that stage. 55, uh, on Monday the 12th of February, 55, I'm, I'm taken at random right up to now, 55, 60, 65, 45. And he quite called it grossly overcrowded. And of course they failed on four conditions, partially compliant on two and non-compliant on the others. And why am I saying all of that? Because in addition to that, there was 20 something patients who were ready to go out and know where to go. And yet we're closing down a district hospital that could could provide a service to take the pressure off the regional hospital, which HICWA said a year ago was grossly overcrowded with just 20 something people on trolleys. Now it's 50 and 60. Thank you, Cahirlac. Um, thank you, Deputy Connolly, for raising this really important um, matter. And you said how you learned it. Well, I learned from your question and from a media query I got today. And uh, I, I wouldn't be happy with that at all. I would expect um, to, be, uh, to be informed of any decision to close a ward or close a hospital. And I would like to, be, I would like to begin by acknowledging, uh, as you have, the vital healthcare role that Clifton District Hospital plays, the excellent level of care and support which it provides to patients and their families in the Clifton community and surrounding areas. And as you have said, uh, Clifton Hospital has been primarily designed 
to provide convalescence care to patients stepping down from acute hospitals, like you mentioned, for example, Galway University Hospital, like these step-down respite beds, you, we cannot underestimate how important they are. This afternoon, I met with Dr. Emer Heron, who's the clinical lead for older people across the whole country, and we spent a long time discussing respite rehab and, and you know, the, the pathways out of acute hospitals back home again. And as we know, Clifton Hospital provides respite beds to allow family carers in the community a welcome break. At present, admissions to Clifton District Hospital have unfortunately been paused due to the lack of staff availability. HSE Community Healthcare West are actively working to recruit nursing. So when I found out today in relation to your question and also to the, pre the press briefing that had come in, um, I, I, I looked for an update immediately. Um, we are actively working to recruit nursing care and support staff in order to safely reopen the short stay beds available in Clifton District Hospital. This also includes efforts to hire agency staff as an interim measure in order to resume services. I have been informed that no agency staff were available this week, but that efforts will continue to recruit in the short term. Now I know agency staff are not ideal because you need that continuity, but at the same time if we can get agency staff in the short term that would be very important. As you know, but just for the record of the dog, Clifton District Hospital is located alongside St Anne's Community Nursing Unit on a shared campus in Clifton. There are 21 registered long-stay beds with HICWA in St Anne's Community Nursing Unit. All beds are currently fully occupied. Clifton District Hospital have been operating seven beds over the past 12 months, and these beds have been utilised for short stay and respite admissions. As I have already stated, admissions to Clifton District Hospital are unfortunately paused due to staffing constraints. In the Clifton area, there has been significant challenges over many years to secure sufficient nursing staff despite national, international and local recruitment drives. There are currently challenges in keeping both Clifton District Hospital and St Anne's open as com as, at Community Healthcare West and they are currently unable to staff. However, the priority, it has been prioritised um, to staff um, St Anne's Community Nursing Unit because they provide long-term care to 21 residents living in this facility who would be there under fair deal. Um, I am acutely aware that Clifton District Hospital is a vital element and I visited there last August. I met you the same day um, and I was delighted to visit and I was delighted to announce um, going forward that um, there would be a, a new state-of-the-art 50 bedded unit on suite and I am aware that the planning application has been submitted and I am aware that I think we're expecting more this week in relation to the planning application. But at the same time, I'm very conscious of those seven respite beds that have lost. And Deputy, I will put a, a continued focus on this now to make sure those beds are um, open as soon as possible and that I will be updated on a weekly basis to the situation in relation to staff. Thank you, Minister. You know, I, I mentioned the regional hospital, I still call it that, mm. because it's, it's bursting at the seams. You know, and, and it's affected on so many issues according to HICWA, despite the good work of the staff. Then we have a facility like Clifton Hospital that is being run down, without a doubt, from, from o over two years now with conflicting reasons given to us. So let's look at the staff and let's look at what they told the press minister. I'm not sure if they told you this. There are currently no patients in Clif Clifton Hospital. Uh, day, day services are not affected. Step down and respite is not available in Clifton. Can you imagine now? No step down and no respite. But suddenly they tell us we can accommodate in Merlin Park. Now, in Galway City, when we try to get people into Merlin Park based on clinical decisions, we're told there's no space. Mm. And suddenly they can go to Merlin Park. And let's go on then. This is what's really interesting. What stage is the recruitment campaign at and have staff been hired? Community Healthcare West has three panels in place from which nursing staff can be recruited. Three panels, two specifically for Clifton, and this is the best part. And we are awaiting derogation to proceed. Derogation, presumably from the embargo at government level. I presume that's what they mean there. Maybe you can enlighten me. We are waiting derogation to proceed. And we hope to is, uh, receive approval for the same. And then they go on to talk about planning permission. And so 
I welcome St Anne's, I welcome that's all in the future. Plus, I'm a bit disappointed that it went from 50 beds to 40 beds, yeah. but that's where we're at. So then, the similar answer now, which, which seems to be a trend, depending on what mood they're in as to which answer they're going to give us. So let's look at Oris Victara, which I've raised over and over, Igrilor Nguiltata. There is a rolling recruitment campaign, which includes Oris Victara community. Interviews are currently in Oh, listen to this, sorry now, Minister. Interviews are currently in progress, but further progression of posts are subject to the recruitment embargo being lifted. This is the HSE, and the, the Taoiseach is telling us there's no recruitment embargo, and here we have two different responses, one in Clifton, one in Reshda, Oris, that there is a recruitment embargo, and they're awaiting government approval. Gar Mag, the Cahir. Gar Mag, the and Deputy, I feel your frustration because I feel it as well. Because the situation is that when those seven um, beds, respite beds, were open over the last 12 months, the staff had provided for those seven beds were funded. And I don't see any reason why they weren't funded last week. And my understanding is that they are funded and that this is the reason why they were looking for agency staff um, to, 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 to support that. But as I've said, um, I will be looking for um, a meeting um, um, tomorrow uh, to discuss this because I heard this, as I said, when you asked your question and a, a media query. And I suppose I was slightly at a disadvantage this afternoon. I did get um, a written answer to questions that were submitted, uh, submitted by the department. But at the same time, um, I know there's challenges with staff, but I can't underestimate, first gone down, I'm glad in one sense that the 21 beds um, weren't affected in St Anne's, but the importance of respite beds cannot be underestimated. And I know we have been challenged in the Galway area, and I don't often speak out as clearly as this, but we have been challenged since COVID in the Galway area to get respite beds reopened. And that was the meeting I had this afternoon with the clinical lead in relation to older people, specifically in relation to respite beds, other, other issues as well. Um, and this was one of the areas that we discussed. Um, and if you'll allow me a day or two um, to make more inquiries, I will come back to you in person.